Okay, this is Vepicha, and we are back in Drakensang. What are we doing here? Okay. Where am I going here? Hogmash. Do you want to leave the throne room? Yes, let me out. I will escort you outside. Oh, Gurlin's right here? I'm glad you accepted my invitation, dear Selena. Your fine art will bring light to Morolosh's darkest corners. The pleasure's all mine. Oh, Selena's here? You take my breath away. Truly, you're the most beautiful Biglin woman I've ever seen. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Stipridup will have a fine selection of the most varied goods in all the Merlash. Are you willing to venture a closer look? Yes, show them to me. Let me do that. Really? I can't sell that? His inventory is full? Now I can sell them. What's with this game? Why does it do that?
Not really using bows and arrows anyways. Get rid of the old battle axe and the throwing axes. Iron Forest Crank. All right. He's her blacksmith, yes. Wait. He's a blacksmith too. I'd have to remove the shield to use that. Can't I learn that? Or do I already have that? Yeah, I do.
Do I want to sell this Verdac stuff? Why not? Just get rid of it. That's right, I wanted to check out that bassinet on her. Really? Where are you going? Did you find something, my good lady? I'm still looking. Do you have more than this? I'm sorry. That's all I have. You've traveled a long way to sell these few things, don't you think? What goes down too, huh? We might have to go down. How's your book going? Oh, very good. Very good, there, Velika. Writing is such fun. Oh, oh. oh, that's so good to hear. I simply couldn't stand it if my neighbor was as depressed as I. Well, let's see what the uh, Selena's doing here. How nice to see you here. Let me look at you. You're looking good. What are you doing here in Murlash? I'm starting to think you're following me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was thinking the same of you, Selena. Selena, my favorite mount bank. What brings you to Murlash? Well, actually. I asked you first, but I'm in a good mood today. I was invited to perform here at a celebration in honor of the great victory over the beast in Talon. But if all of a sudden, King Arambolash has decided to forbid me from performing, and now you are here. I am here at the invitation of Prince Aram of Moralash. It was me, it was we who slew the fearsome creature in Talon. Never again will that monster, dr monstrous dragon prey on the innocent people of Talon. Ha! Huh. 
I always knew there was more than meets the eye. More to you than meets the eye. Did you really slay a dragon? You're full of surprises. I guess we all are, aren't we? I'm going to take a look around Morolash. I can't wait to speak to you again. It's all the further down I can go. Greetings. What's up? Who are you? Me? I am a miner. My name is Grandor, son of Gra Garamor. My job is to build the frames that prop up the tunnels. The tradition of mining in these parts goes back over 6,000 years. We were mining here before your gods even thought of creating you. <laughs> oh. Nothing. Farewell. Okay, that was kind of lame. What's down here? Stop! This tunnel is closed for your own safety. I'm afraid you may not pass. Well, don't be afraid. All right. Not sure why he's worried about me, though. I mean, heck, I killed a dragon. Geroshev, and welcome in the blessed name of Angrosh. Can I help you? Really? That's all I get is never mind? Okay. Screw you. I don't want to talk to you either. I like how the wheel turns, but the rope doesn't move. Maybe I can talk to the king boy? Boy king? Mr. King? Halt! Strangers are not permitted to enter the great throne room. What's your desire? What? I was just in there. Greetings, tell me why you say such a thing. What do you mean? Your sisters won't speak with you? Oh, Master, I don't want to spoil your day with that sorry story. It's just a stupid argument that I will have to sort out with my three sisters someday. Oh, come now. 
Don't you want at least to tell me a little bit of this argument? A bit of gossip is always fun. Well, that's true. It really is quite absurd. I have three sisters and none of us like each other one little bit. Hee <laughs> hee. Surely before she died, our dear mother decided to leave us her four most beautiful pieces of jewelry. But she decided that none of us would receive her favorite piece of jewelry. Mother hoped that her testament would force us to reconcile our differences. It didn't work, of course. My sisters still won't talk to each other. <clears throat> Perhaps you could try to resolve our dispute. It's worth trying. I'd be glad to help you. Fine. I hope you can help us. It would be marvelous if we could end this stupid feuding. Would you prepare to entrust your heirloom to me so that I can exchange it for your sister's piece of jewelry? Well, you're certainly very direct, aren't you? I would desperately like to have my mother's bracelet. All right, I'll risk it. I'll give you my piece of jewelry in exchange for a deposit of ten ducats. Do we have a deal? All right, then. I can accept that. I'll be back with your bracelet soon. Fine. Here, take my earrings. Is there nothing else I can do for you? Can I ask questions? Of course. What did you say your sister's names were? Doida, Felica, and Fatalika. Our mother was obviously enjoying her own little joke when she named us. You know which piece of jewelry each sister wants? Diota would like to have the earrings. Felica would like the necklace and Fedelica would like the ring. And I would like to have the bracelets. It's the only piece that's really worth anything and that's only because my mother always used to wear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now. Greetings. I've heard all about your dilemma with your sisters and your family heirlooms. I'd like to help you. I have your mother's earrings with me, and I'd like to swap them with you. What? You have the earrings? But that's fantastic. Here, here is the necklace. Now give me the earrings. Oh, my precious earrings. Here, take the necklace. I'll come and see you again soon.
Oh no, you're nowhere in Merlosh, and I haven't even done me air. Can I ask you a few questions about your sisters? If you must. What did you say your sisters' names were? Perlita the Donkey, Dumb Diota, and Feculent Felica. She wants the ring, okay. Okay, so I have the necklace. I gotta find Felica. And what's in here? Stop! This tunnel is closed for your own safety. I'm afraid you may not pass. Miss Felica. In the name of Angrosh, how can I help you? Praise the gods. Your sisters told me Your sisters told me about your inheritance dispute. I have offered to help resolve your conflict. <coughs> I've offered to help resolve your conflict. I brought this necklace with me, and I would like to swap it for the jewelry that you inherited. By Angrosh, I never thought I would live to see the day. I'll gladly give you this ring in exchange for the necklace. It must be an angel sent to us by mighty Angrosh. Alright, farewell then. Okay, did what's her name up here want the... We meet again. Come to speak to you about your sisters and the problems with their inheritance. I would be willing to swap this ring for the bracelet that you have in your possession. The ring? My ring! Oh, how wonderful! My ring, here, take this stupid bracelet. Ah, my ring, my ring. Never mind for a while. Okay, now we gotta go back and find that other chick for the... Give her the bracelet. Is her there? Ah, hello. How can I help?
nice to see you again. Well, that was easy enough. Here's your bracelet, Darlita. Ho ho, you did it! That's wonderful! Here is your deposit. Thank you so much. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> I would love to give you this receipt as a sign of my thanks. Should you speak to the blacksmith about it? You should speak to the blacksmith about it. Okay. Where's the blacksmith? That's a miner. He's not the blacksmith. But talk to Gurlin sometime too. It's a weapon master. Merchant. Is this the blacksmith here? Yes. And Grosh be with you. Blacksmithing is the highest of the arts that the divine creator gave to us. Do you wish to learn this talent? be with you. Blacksmithing is the So there's steel and there's kosh steel. What's the difference between besides the price, the difference? Guess he's not the uh, blacksmith I should be talking to, is it? You think? No, not him. Because I need Boyer. I'm smooth soon Boyer for those. And I don't have Boyer, do I? No, none of us do. Aye. Nope. What's girl got to say? So, we meet again. You found the way to Miralash, I see. I'm glad of that. And stories of your deeds are making the rounds everywhere as well. It's good to see you again, Gurlin. I have a good reputation among the dwarves, as you well know. Come to me if you need any help. I'm still looking for the caves beneath Muralash, but King Arambalash hasn't been very helpful, I'm afraid. Although he did promise me a reward from his armory. Hmm. You didn't tread on Arambalash's beard, did you? I suggest you collect your reward first. Perhaps the king just needs a bit longer to consider his decision. The quartermaster is just over there on the other side of the stairs. Take care, Gurlin. The quartermaster. Is that the treasurer? Garrison, friend of Morolosh. I am Otosh. Son of the Antlamash, officer of the Royal Arsenal. I have been instructed to award you with a prize from Moralosh's glorious armory. Choose wisely, my friend.
Remove confusion, cloud the minds of your opponents and deflect their attacks. Titanium ring of power. Ooh. What do I want? What do I want? Let's get the ring of power. A splendid choice. Legend has it that it came to Morlash as part of a tribute to the Mountain King. It is rumored that the ring was forged to enhance the powers of a warrior who was renowned for his bravery and determination. Thank you. Make haste! You must come to the temple with me right away. Something terrible has happened. Well, let's go. High Priest Zogorax! He's been poisoned! Just like that! Whoever did this will soon feel my axe! Come, speak to Lugos! He'll explain everything to you! Otombra Hortamash, you are welcome in the Temple of Engrosh. I regret we cannot receive you as a Dragon Slayer with merit. In fact, Master Zogorax should be speaking to you himself in my place. But I'm afraid that's not possible. I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. Why would the High Priest want to see us? Prince Aram tells me that you're interested in the ancient caves below Muralash. Zolgarax is an expert on Dwarven history. If anyone could advise you on these matters, it would be him. And what has happened to Zolgarax? Foul treachery, that's what. Our enemy's power reaches even into these very halls of our ancient sacred temple. Our enemy must truly fear us, or they believe that we finally let our guard down. Our hard priest Zolgorax is unconscious and nothing we've tried will wake him. Just imagine, when we examined his food, we discovered that his beer had been poisoned. I sent for you because I need your help in this matter. The high priest was poisoned? By who? By the dragon worshipper, of course. Dressex X. Who else would do such a thing? If I ever get my hands on that foul murderer, he'll wish he was never born. What the prince means to say is that we don't know who poisoned him yet, but it seems likely that this evil deed was carried out by a traitor acting on the orders of the enemies of Morolash. For thousands of years, Morolash has been a bastion in the battle against the spawn of the great dragons. How can I help you? I've managed to identify the poison. Luckily, this type of poison takes effect very slowly, but unfortunately, the antidote is extremely difficult to concoct. One of the ingredients for the antidote is very rare. Our apothecary doesn't have any glautamash mushrooms. But there should be some in the mushroom caves nearby. Could you bring us some of the, of the mushrooms? Although it pains me to say this, I daren't trust anyone from the temple at this time. But you are a friend of the pr of Prince Aram and enjoy the king's respect. It is simply unthinkable that you could be involved in this crime. Don't worry, I'll find the mushrooms. Where should I start searching? Wonderful! I shall mark the tunnel that leads to the mushroom gardens on your map. Speak with Grimbalash, the gardener, when you get there. He can identify the correct mushroom, but be careful. It can be dangerous down there. Go now and make haste. Our high priest is battling for his life. I swear by the twelve gods I will bring you the mushrooms you need. Okay, so I guess we go over here to the Mushroom Garden, but we will do that next time. This has been Vepaja, and, uh, you know, do those three things that'll make us both happy. You know what they are. You click on that like, you give us a subscribe, and then you ring that bell so you can see us next time.
Later.